Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are checking out the City of Tweak you've all been waiting for. This is Velox. This one's a game changer and it's going to add some pretty cool features to apps on your home screen. It adds little app folders that contain notifications and features from the apps such as the Notes app right here. And as you can see, with a quick swipe down or swipe up on the app icon, I can pull up a little notepad and be able to quickly take a note right here just like this right from the home screen and then save it and be on my way. You can also do similar things for the messages app. So as you can see I can tap on this notification here and then be able to quickly reply to that message and if you get sick of seeing the notification there you can go ahead and swipe across it to clear it out. Another cool feature is you can send messages right from the home screen with the app icon. As you can see, tap on compose message, tap on the plus sign to add a contact and you can type your message and send it off. The best part is the quick reply isn't limited to the app folder. You can actually tap on banners like that and reply to messages right from there. So there's a lot of features packed into this tweak as you can see. Inside of the calendar app folder you can see all of your events. Quickly tap on one to go to that specific event in the calendar. Within the folder for the photos app as you can see we have social buttons. We can tap to tweet the last taken photo. We can tap to Facebook it. We can also tap to quickly send it in an email and then we can also copy it to the clipboard with the copy button. And don't think for a second they left out the camera app. If you swipe up or down on the camera app you can open up the camera and actually take a picture right here from the home screen. You can change all your flash options and then you can save it right to your camera roll using the button at the bottom. Let's go ahead and take a look at the maps app here. If you swipe down on the map you can pull up a map view that's right and you can be able to browse around the city or whatever you want to look for on the map and the best part is it also works with Google Maps so if you're a fan of Google Maps instead of Apple Maps you can use that. We also do have a beautiful widget here for the weather apps so you can quickly check your temperatures right there from the home screen. This tweak is incredible and I'm very impressed by the implementation. The reminders app is very similar to the calendar app where you can tap on an item to view it inside of the application. Next up we have Tweetbot and this will also work with other Twitter clients but you get a full web view of your Twitter feed and you can also set it so you can just view those notifications instead but I'll show you that in a little bit here. Now what do you think we're going to find under the settings app? Well we get toggles. Exactly what you would think would be there. It just totally makes sense because you go into the settings app and you kind of shuffle around in there to find all these options. But we have things like do not disturb, flashlight, airplane mode, Bluetooth. We have mute. We have orientation lock. Everything that you need right at your fingertips. And hopefully they'll add more toggles here in the future. But this is a very, very good start. We also do have a brightness slider at the bottom as you saw there. Now here is my favorite thing. We have a full on city of feed right here. So we can browse through all the recently released packages and updates, everything that would pull up in the changes tab within Cydia we can see right here by swiping on the icon. Now this next one is definitely one of my favorites. We have iFile and we can browse our entire root directory of an iOS device right here from the home screen using this little app folder. It's very impressive. I really do like this feature just to be able to quickly find things that you're looking for on your device. Now you're probably seeing a theme here. Basically every app I have sitting on the home screen aside from the ones on the dock have special features for Velox and as you can see the contacts app is no exception to that. We can browse through the contacts and view information about our contacts and the same goes with the phone. We can see our recent calls. We can then go ahead and call them back. We can even send them a quick message just by tapping on those green dots there on the side pull up the messages app, send off a message, and be done with it. Safari is definitely a favorite of mine on here. We have a full-on web browser right here on the home screen, and we can visit any website right here from this mini web browser, be able to browse around, look for stuff, and then you can quickly open it up in Safari by tapping that little button there at the top. Now, here is a really cool feature. We're going to go to appadvice.com, and we are going to add this to the home screen. So we're going to put a little icon, a little web clip of App Advice on our home screen. If we swipe on that, we can pull open the entire website here from that little web clip without having to go into Safari or anything. It's very, very impressive. I, I can't get enough of this tweak. There's so many things to show you guys. I know this video is long, but I wanted to make sure I was as thorough as possible in showing this off. Now, the next thing we have is the music app. As you can see, we can play music. We can scrub through it. We can change tracks just by tapping the back or forward button. 
everything that you'd expect right here on the home screen. The next thing we're checking out is the mail app and if you tap on the notification here you can see that we can launch the mail app itself and be able to reply to this message. Or you can swipe across the message to clear it from the notification so that it's not sitting there bothering you anymore. Now the best part is if an app doesn't have VLOX implementation, it'll still work with notifications. So any notifications you get for any of the apps that aren't native for VLOX, you can actually just view the notifications here. And I'm going to switch TweetBot to use notifications. We're going to hop into the settings app and go to VLOX here. If we tap on preferences at the top here, you see always NC folder for app. If we scroll down and find TweetBot here, we can enable that and that'll show us a notification center view instead of a full Twitter web view. So now when we swipe down, we have our notifications here and then we can quickly swipe those away or tap on it to launch the app. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the settings. As you can see here, we have icon swipe directions, so you can set these if you wanna have it only work for a certain type of swipe, either up or down, or you can have up and down like I have set right now, so you can choose between those, whichever one you'd like, whatever's easier for you. And then we have quick reply for messages at the bottom. Now that'll enable or disable this feature. So if you'd prefer not to have the quick reply feature, you can just switch that to off and you'll be good to to go here. The developers behind Vlogs have also taken the time to put together a pretty extensive guide to tell you how everything works and these are the people right here so definitely give them a shout out on Twitter and follow them by tapping on their names there but there is so much going on in Vlox and there's much more to come. This is not the end everybody. They are still working on updates. They're still adding more apps. They even have an API that developers can use to implement Vlox style folders for their applications. So that's something to definitely take note of because you're going to see developers implement VLOX style folders for various Cydia and App Store applications and I can't wait to see what people do with this tweak. So watch out for that. But if you want to pick up VLOX, it's available in the Big Boss repo for $1.99. I highly suggest you check it out. It's definitely worth a look. So go ahead and check it out. It's available now and as always, be sure to let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.